ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய சாவித்ரி புக் த்ரீ த புக் ஆஃப் த டிவைன் மதர் கேன்டோ ஃபோர் த விஷன் அண்ட் த பூன் பேஜஸ் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் டு த்ரீ ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் தென் சடன்லி த ரோஸ் அ சேக்ரெட் ஸ்டேர் அமிட் த லைஃப்லெஸ் சைலன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த வாய்ட் இன் அ சலிட்யூட் அண்ட் அன் இமென்சிட்டி a sound came quavering like a loud footfall heard in the listening space of the soul a touch perturbed his fibers with delight an influence had approached the martial range a boundless heart was near his longing heart a mystic form enveloped his earthly shape all at her contact broke from silent sea spirit and body thrilled identified linked in the grasp of an unspoken joy mind members life were merged in ecstasy intoxicated as with nectarious rain his nature's passioning stretches flawed to her flashing with lightnings mad with luminous wine all was a limitless sea that heaved to the moon a divinizing stream possessed his veins his body cells awoke to spirit sense each nerve became a burning thread of joy tissue and flesh partook beatitude a light the dull unplumbed subconscious caves thrilled with the prescience of her longed for tread and filled with flickering crests and praying tongues even lost in slumber mute in animate his very body answered to her power the one he worshiped was within him now flame pure ethereal dressed a mighty face appeared and lips moved by immortal words lids wisdom's leaves drooped over raptures arms ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய ஏ மார்பிள் மொனியூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் பாண்டரிங் ஸ்டோன் ஏ ஃபோர் கெட் ஸ்லைட் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் அண்ட் ஆர்ஜ் லைக் ஓஷியன் ஸ்கேஸ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் ஹெவன் டூ ட்ராங்கில் ஐஸ் ஆஃப் பாண்ட்லெஸ் தாட் லூக் இன் டு மேன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஷோ த காட்ஸ் டு கம் A shape was seen on the threshold mind, a voice, absolute and wise, in the heart's chamber spoke, O son of strength, who climbed creation's peak, O soul is thy companion in the light, alone thou standest at the eternal doors, what thou hast won, is time but ask no more o spirit aspiring in an ignorant frame o voice arisen from the inconscious world how shall thou speak for men whose hearts are dumb make per blind earth the soul's seer visions home o lighten the burden of the senseless Lord, I am the mystery beyond the reach of mind. I am the goal of travel, travel of the suns. My fire and sweetness are the cause of life. But do immense my danger and my joy. Awake not, in, not the immeasurable descent. Speak not my secret name of God. named to hostile time man is too weak to bear the infinite sweet too bold too soon might breaks the imperfect earth leave the all seeing power to hew its way in thy single vast achievement the real part help wake the world with thy great lonely days i ask thee not to burst thy heart of flame in the immobile's wide uncaring bliss 
turned from the fruitless motion of the years, deserting the fierce labor of the world, aloof from beings lost in the alone. ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய ஹவு ஷல் தை மைட்டி ஸ்பிரிட் ப்ரூக் ரிப்போஸ் வைல் டெத் இஸ் ஸ்டில் அன்கன்கொயர்ட் ஆன் தி ஏர்த் அண்ட் த டைம் ஏ ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் சஃபரிங் அண்ட் பெயின் தை சோல் வாஸ் பார்ன் டு ஷேர் தி லேடன் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஒபே தை நேச்சர் அண்ட் ஃபுல்ஃபில் தை ஃபேட் அக்செப்ட் த டிஃபிகல்டி அண்ட் கோட் லைக் ட்ராயல் For the slow-paced, omniscient, purposeful life, the enigmous knot is tied in humankind. A lightning from the heights that think and plan, ploughing the air of life with vanishing trials, man, soul awake in an unconscious world, aspires in vain to change the cosmic dream, arrived from some half-luminous beyond. He is a stranger in the mindless wastes, a traveler in his oft-shifting home amid the tread of many infinities. He has pitched a tent of life in desert space. Heaven's fixed regard beholds him from above. In the house of nature, a perturbing guest, a voyager twixt thoughts in constant shores, a hunter of unknown and beautiful powers, a nomad of the fair mysterious light, in the wide ways a little spark of God. Against his spirit all is in dire league, a titan influence stops his Godward gaze, around him hungers the unpitying void, the eternal darkness seeks him with her hands, inscrutable energies drive him and deceive immense implacable deities oppose an inert soul and a somnambulist force have made a world estranged from life and thought the dragon of the dark foundations keeps unalterable the law of chance and death on his long way through time and circumstance the grey hued riddling nether shadow sphinx her dreadful paws upon the swallowing sands awaits him armed with the soul slaying world across his path sits the dim camp of night om namo bhagavate shri arvindaya is day is a moment in perpetual time he is the prey of the minutes and the hours Aside on earth and Hana issued of even, they sent it here Hana be and sublime. A link between the demigod and the beast, he knows, not his own greatness nor his aim. He has forgotten why he has come and whence. His spirit and his member are at war. His eyes break off too low to reach the skies. His mass is buried in the animal mire. A strange on antinomy is his nature's rule. A riddle of opposites is made his field. Freedom he has but needs to live in bonds. He has need of darkness to perceive some light and need of grief to feel a little bliss. He has need of death to find a greater life. All sides he sees and turns to every call. He has no certain light by which to walk. His life is a blind man's buff, a hide and seek. He seeks himself and from himself he runs. Meeting himself he thinks it other than he. Always he wills, he finds no constant ground. Always he journeys but nowhere arrives. He would guide the world, himself he cannot guide. He would save his soul, his life he cannot save. The light his soul had brought his mind at last. All he had learned is soon again in doubt. A sun to him seems the shadow of his thoughts. 
then all is shadow again and nothing true unknowing what he does or with her he tends he fabricates signs of the real in ignorance he has itched his mortal error to truth star wisdom attracts him with a luminous mass but never has he seen the face behind a giant ignorance surrounds his lord assigned to meet the cosmic mystery in the dumb figure of a material world his passport of entry falls and his personal he is compelled to be what he is not he obeys the inconscience yet come to rule and sinks in matter to fulfill his soul om namo bhagavate shri aravindaay awaken from her lower driven forms the earth mother gave her forces to his hands and painfully he got the heavy trust his mind is a lost torch bearer on her roads illumining breath to think and plasm to feel he labors with a slow and skeptic brain helped by the reason's vacillating fires to make his thought and will a magic door for knowledge to enter the darkness of the world and love to rule a realm of strife and hate a mind important to reconcile heaven and earth and tied to matter with a thousand bonds he lives himself to be a conscious god even when a glory of wisdom crowns his brow when mind and spirit shed a grandiose ray to exalt this product of the sperm and gene this alchemist miracle from plasm and gas and he who shared the animals run and crawl lives his thought stretcher to the immortal's heights his life still keeps the human middle way his body he resigns to death and pain abandoning matter is too heavy charge a tau matter skeptic of miracles a spirit left sterile of its occult power by an unbelieving brain and credulous heart he leaves the world to end where it began his work unfinished he claims a heavenly prize thus has he missed creation's absolute halfway he stops his star of destiny a vast and vain long tried experiment an ill served high conception doubtfully done the world's life falters on not seeing its goal a zigzag towards unknown dangerous ground ever repeating its habitual walk ever retreating after marches long and hardiest victories without sure result drawn endlessly an inconclusive game om namo bhagavate shri arbindaya in an ill fitting and voluminous robe a radiant purpose still conceals its face a mighty blindness stumbles hoping on feeding its strength on gifts of luminous chance because the human instrument has failed the goddess frustrate sleeps within its sea a spirit entangled in the forms it made his failure is not failure whom god leads through all the slow mysterious march goes on an immutable power has made this mutable world a self fulfilling transcendence treats man's road the driver of the soul upon its path it knows its steps its way is inevitable and how shall the end be vain when god is guide however man's mind may tire or fail his flesh a veil prevails cancelling his conscious choice the gold recedes a boneless vastness calls retreating into an immense unknown there is no end to the world's stupendous march there is no rest for the embodied soul it must live one describe 
all times huge curve and influx presses from the close to beyond forbidding to him rest an earthly ease till he has found himself he cannot pass a light there is that leads a power that aids unmarked unfelt it sees in him and acts ignorant he forms the all conscient in his depths human looks up to superhuman peaks a borrower of supernature's gold he paves his road to immortality the high gods look on man and watch and choose today's impossibles for the future's base his transience trembles with the eternal's touch his barriers seed beneath the infinite street the immortals have their entries in his life the ambassadors of the unseen draw near om namo bhagavate shri arvindaya your splendor salute by the mortal air love passes through his heart a wandering guest beauty surrounds him for a magic hour he has visits of a large revealing joy brief voidnesses release him from himself enticing towards a glory ever in front hopes of a deathless sweetness lure and leave his mind is crossed by strange discovering fires rare intimations lifts his stumbling speech to a moment kinship with the eternal word a mask of wisdom circles through his brain perturbing him with glimpses of divine he lays his hands sometimes on the unknown he communes sometimes with eternity A strange and grandiose symbol was his birth and immortality and spirit room and pure perfection and a shadowless bliss or this afflicted creatures mighty fate in him earth mother sees draw near the change foreshadowed on her dump and fairy depths a goddess drawn from her transmuted limbs an alchemy of heaven on nature's base adapt of a self born unfailing lion leave not the light to die the ages bore help still humanity's blind and suffering life obey thy spirit's wide omnipotent urge om namo bhagavate shri aravindaya a witness to god's parley with the night it leaned compassionate from immortal calm and housed desire the troubled seed of things ascend to thy high self create endure cease not from knowledge let thy toil be vast no more can earthly limits pin thy force equal thy work with the long unending times traveler upon the bare eternal heights tread still the difficult and dateless path joining the cycles with its austere curve measured for man by the initiate gods my light shall be in thee my strength thy force let not the impatient titan drive thy heart ask not the imperfect fruit the partial price only one boon to greaten thy spirit demand only one joy to raise thy kind desire above blind fate and the antagonist 
powers. Moveless there stands a high unchanging will. To its omnipotence leave thy works result. All things shall change in God's transfiguring hour. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Aravindaya August and sweet sunk Hughes that mighty voice. Nothing now moved in the vast brooding space. A stillness came upon the listening world, a mute immensity of the eternal space. But Asopati's heart replied to her, a cry amid the silence of the vasts. How shall I rest content with mortal days and the dull measure of terrestrial things? I, who have seen behind the cosmic mask thy glory and the beauty of thy face, hard is the doom to which thou bindest thy sons. How long shall our spirits battle with the night and bear defeat in the brute yoke of death? We who are vessels of a deathless force and builders of the Godhead of the race. Or if it, it is thy work I do below amid the error and waste of human life, in the vague light of man's half-conscious mind, why breaks not in some distant gleam of thee, where the centuries and millenniums pass? Where in the grayness is thy coming ray? Where is the thunder of thy victorious wings? Only we hear the feet of passing gods. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Arvindaya A plan in the occult eternal mind Mapped out to backward and prophetic sight The aeons ever repeat their chainless round The cycles all revealed and ever aspire All we have done is ever still to do All breaks and all renews and is the same. Huge revolutions of life's fruitless gyre. The newborn ages perish like the old, as if the sad enigma kept its right. Till all is done for which this scene was made. To little the strength that now with us is born. To faint the light that steals through nature's lids. To scant the joy with which she buys our pain. In a brute world that knows not its own sense. Thought racked upon the wheel of birth we live. The instruments of an impulse not our own. Move to achieve with our heart's blood for price. Half knowledge, half creation, that soon tire a foiled immortal soul in perishing limbs, baffled and beaten back, we labor still, annulled, frustrated, spent, we still survive. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Aravinda. In anguish, we labor that from us may raise a larger seeing man with nobler heart, a golden vessel of the incarnate truth, the executor of the divine attempt, equipped to bear the earthly body of God, communicant and prophet and lover and king. I know that thy creation cannot fail, for even through the mists of mortal thought, infallible are thy mysterious steps, and though necessity dons the grab of chance, 
hidden in the blind shifts of fate she keeps the slow calm logic of infinity's pace and the inviolate sequence of its will all life is fixed in an ascending scale and adamantine is the evolving law in the beginning is prepared the close this strange irrational product of tamaya this compromise between the beast and god is not the crown of thy miraculous world i know there shall inform the inconscient cells at one with nature and at height with heaven a spirit vast as the contining sky and swept with ecstasy from invisible fonts a god come down and greater by the fall a power arouse out of my slumber cells abandoning the tardy limp of the hours and the inconstant blink of mortal sight there were the thinker sleeps in too much light and intolerant flames the lone all witnessing guy hearing the word of fate from silence's heart in the endless moment of eternity it saw from timelessness the works of time in the endless moment of eternity it saw from timelessness the works of time om namo bhagavate shri aravindaya overpassed were the leaden formulas of the mind overpowered the obstacle of mortal space the unfolding image showed the things to come the giant dance of shiva tore the past there was a thunder as of worlds that fall earth was overrun with fire and the roar of death clamoring to slay a world his hunger had made there was a clangor of destruction's wings the titan's battle cry was in my ears alarm and rumor shook the armored night i saw the omnipotent flaming pioneers over the heavenly world which turns towards life come crowding down the amber stairs of birth forerunners of a divine multitude out of the paths of the morning star they came into the little room of mortal life i saw them cross the twilight of an age the sun eyed children of a marvelous dawn the great creators with white brows of calm the massive barrier breakers of the world and wrestlers with destiny in her lists of will the laborers in the quarries of the gods the messengers of the incommunicable the architects of immortality om namo bhagavate shri aravindaya into the fallen human sphere they came faces that were the immortals glory still voices that commune still with the thoughts of god bodies made beautiful by the spirit's light carrying the magic word the mystic fire carrying the dionysian cup of joy approaching eyes of a diviner man lips chanting an unknown anthem of the soul feet echoing in the corridors of time high priests of wisdom sweetness might and bliss discoverers of beauty's sunlit ways and swimmers of love's laughing fiery floods and dancers within rapture's golden doors their tread one day shall change the suffering earth and justify the light on nature's face although fate lingers in the high beyond and the world seems vain on which our hearts force was spent all shall be done for which our pain was born even as of old band came behind the beast this high divine successor surely shall come behind man's inefficient mortal pace behind his vain labor sweat and blood and tears he shall know what mortal mind barely does think he shall do what the heart of the mortal could not dare inheritor of the toil of human time 
he shall take on him the burden of the gods all heavenly light shall visit the earth's thoughts the might of heaven shall fortify earthly hearts earth's deeds shall touch the superhuman's height earth seeing widen into the infinite heavy unchanged ways still the imperfect world the splendid youth of time has passed and failed heavy and long are the years or labor counts and still the seals are firm upon man's soul and weary is the ancient mother's heart om namo bhagavate shri arvindaya o truth defended in thy secret sun voice of a mighty musings in shut heavens on things withdrawn within her luminous depths o wisdom splendor mother of the universe creatrix the eternal's artist bride linger not long with thy transmuting hand pressed vainly on one golden bar of time as if time dare not open its heart to god o radiant fountain of the world's delight world free and unattainable above o bliss who ever dwells deep hid within while men seek the outside and never find mystery and muse with hieratic tongue incarnate the white passion of thy force mission to earth some living form of thee one moment fill with thy eternity let thy infinity in one body live all knowledge wrap one mind in seas of light all love throb single in one human heart immortal treading the earth with mortal feet all heaven's beauty crowd in earthly limbs omnipotence girdled with the power of god movements and movements of a mortal will packed with the eternal might one human hour and with one gesture change all future time let a great word be spoken from the heights and one great act unlock the doors of fate ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய ஹிஸ் ப்ரேயர் சாங் டவுன் இன் த ரெசிஸ்டிங் நைட் அப்ரெஸ்ட் பை தி தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர்ஸஸ் த டினை ஆஸ் இஃப் டூ வீக் டு கிளைம் டு தி சுப்ரீம் பட் தேர் அரோஸ் எ வைட் கன்சென்டிங் வாய்ஸ் த ஸ்பிரிட் ஆஃப் பியூட்டி வாஸ் ரிவீல்ட் இன் சவுண்ட் லைட் ஃப்ளோட்டட் ரவுண்ட் த மார்வலஸ் விசன்ஸ் ப்ரோ அண்ட் ஆன் ஹர் லிப்ஸ் தி இம்மார்டல்ஸ் ஜாய் டுக் ஷேப் ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ஸ்ரீ அரவிந்தாய ஓ ஸ்ட்ராங் ஃபோரனர் ஐ ஹவ் ஹர்ட் தாய் க்ராய் ஒன் ஷல் லிசன் அண்ட் பிரேக் த அயன் லா சேஞ்ச் நேச்சர்ஸ் டூம் பை த லோன் ஸ்பிரிட்ஸ் பவர் எ லிமிட்லெஸ் மைண்ட் தட் கேன் கன்டைன் த வேர்ல்ட் அ ஸ்வீட் அண்ட் வைலன் ஹார்ட் ஆஃப் ஆரன் காம்ஸ் மூட் பை த பேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த காட்ஸ் ஷல் காம் all mights and greatnesses shall join in her beauty shall walk celestial on the earth the light shall sleep in the cloud net of her hair and in her body as on a homing tree immortal love shall beat his glorious wings a music of griefless things shall weave her charm the harps of the perfect shall attune her voice the streams of heaven shall murmur in her laugh her lips shall be the honey combs of god her limbs is golden jars of ecstasy her breasts the rapture flowers of paradise she shall bear wisdom in her voiceless bosom strength shall be with her like a conqueror's sword and from her eyes the eternal's bliss shall gaze A seed shall be sown in death's tremendous hour, a branch of heaven transplant to human soil. Nature shall overleap her mortal step. Fate shall be changed by an unchanging will. Om Namo Bhagavati Sri Aravindai as a flame disappears in endless light 
immortally extinguished in its source vanished the splendor and was stilled the world an echo of delight that once was close the harmony journeyed towards some distant hush a music failing in the ear of trance a cadence called by distant cadences a voice that trembled into strains withdrawn her form retreated from the longing earth forsaking nearness to the abandoned sense ascending to her un attainable home lone brilliant vacant lay the inner fields all was unfilled in ordinate spirit space indifferent waste a desert of bright peace then a line moved on the far edge of calm the warm lipped sentient soft terrestrial be a quick and many murmured moon and laugh came gliding in upon wide feet of sound unlocked was the deep glory of silence heart the absolute unmoving stillness is surrendered to the breath of mortal air dissolving boundlessly the heavens of trance collapsed to waking mind eternity cast down its incommunicable lids over its solitudes remote from ken behind the voiceless mystery of sleep the grandiose respite failed the wide release across the light of fast receding planes that fled from him as from a falling star compelled to fill its human house in time his soul drew back into the speed and noise of the vast business of created things om namo bhagavate shri aravindaya a chariot of the marvels of the heavens broad based to bear the gods on fiery wheels flaming he swept through the spiritual gates the mortal stir received him in its midst once more he moved amid material scenes lifted by intimations from the heights and in the pauses of the building brain touched by the thoughts that skim the fathomless surge of nature and being back to hidden shores the eternal seeker in the ionic field besieged by the intolerant press of us again was strong for great swift footed deeds awake beneath the ignorant vault of night he saw the unnumbered people of the stars and heard the questioning of the unsatisfied flood and toiled with the form maker measuring mind a wanderer from the occult invisible suns accomplishing the fate of transient things a god in the figure of the arisen beast he raised his brow of conquest to the heavens establishing the empire of the soul on matter and its bounded universe mm-hmm. as on a solid rock in infinite seas the lord of life resumed his mighty rounds in the scant field of the ambiguous globe 